All right, YouTube. Previously, I showed you how to derive these two kinematic equations, but there's a third kinematic equation, and some people have asked me where it comes from. Uh, so today, I'm going to show you exactly how to derive that third equation using just good old-fashioned algebra. You see, the third kinematic equation factors out time. So what we're going to do is take this equation right here and rearrange it for t. And we're going to take that equation and substitute it in for t right here. And next we're going to take this term right here and distribute the squared and clean it up a little bit. And then we're going to get to do everybody's little favorite bit of algebra, and that is foil out this vf minus vi squared term. Now I want to get both this left term and right term to have the same denominator. And while we're at it, let's distribute this vi in here. pulling the 2a over to this other side. You'll see some of these terms cancel out. This 2vfvi cancels out over here, really subtracts out to zero. And this negative 2vi squared is gonna get rid of that term, and we're left with just negative vi squared. So 2ad equals vf squared minus vi squared, or rearranging this we get. This, the third kinematic equation. So there it is, how to derive the third kinematic equation from these other two. And on that note, that's all for now.